Okay, pilots. You ain't gonna believe it. I went in there. Matter of fact, I kind of started getting a headache. So I took me a headache powder. Laid down, took me a Sunday nap. Woke up. Walked in the living room, was going to turn the TV on. No. A security camera showed a big box. A big box sitting on the porch. And I said, oh, my Lord. Yes, pilots. Yes. I got it, baby. It's a big one. It's a big one. This right here is the LX model Super B25. That's right. Super B25. color of my cows. Oh, my cows is orange. Well, you know what's going to go with that. Mm. All right, so I'm going. I'm going. Well, since I'm talking about them, we got the inspector card here. Every time I make a video, I got to hit my head on some one of these planes landing gear. If you don't believe me? Watch the videos. <laughs> You'll hear that sound. <laughs> <laughs> and Check your stuff. Huh. Everything seems to be packed well. In a plastic bag. Plus packing tape is bracing it all in. Bracing it all in. <laughs> okay. Yes, yes, yes. Very nice, very nice. Let's get rid of that. Oh, yes. Well, we're going to be taking this out. We're going to be taking that out and putting some silver on it. And I might do a little black maybe in it somewhere but this right here i'm gonna i'm gonna try to match the color and i'm gonna paint that the same color there and i'm gonna try to match the color down here where it's gray and try to match it right there because i don't like it i don't like it pops. i mean you know a lot of them do but i don't man that's that's hard plastic there. I mean, that's, there ain't nothing kidding about that. And you can take that motor out with two screws. It's not glued in. It's got screws in. And 
pilots, these cows are the same size as the cows that's on 1200 millimeter planes. That's 11, well, that's 11 millimeter, 11 hobby Trojan. Okay. There's a big Bynum P47. It's as big as that one. Look at there. There's a there's a 190 flat line 190, and it, it swallows it. It'd go over that. You know what I mean? That's gonna be scale to the 1200 Warbirds, 1200 millimeter Warbirds pilots. It's gonna be that big. And I was looking on, I was watching videos this morning, pilots, and I seen this guy, he, he's building, uh, it's a little over 10 foot wingspan B, uh, B-17, and it, he's going by a kit, wingspan, what was it, wingspan something, wingspan something. Anyway, I looked on that website, pilots, and they've got a B-17 that's a one night scale, and they got a B-17 that's a one sixth scale. The one night scale is $2,800. But you get everything, I believe, except the motors. And it is uh, balsa wood, you know, fiberglass, covered. But anyway, almost three grand, that big of a B-17. Could be next year. <laughs> I, I got to look on the phone and see what it's called. Wingspan something. Wingspan RC kits or something like that. Unboxing might be a while, folks. <laughs> Sit down, grab you a cold drink, whatever it is you prefer. Uh oh, that's twice. I tell you, this thing takes up half my hobby room, so I'm gonna probably beat my head on a lot of something pilots I noticed something that was on the cows I've watched a lot of videos over the years of this model pilot and I noticed the paint the paint oh my god the paint Rich, Rich the RC in front of the building his and he put a piece of tape on it to pull the paint off you know and Lord have mercy I mean it just came off like it wasn't even there I said, goodness, man, and if you try to repaint something like that, pilots, you're wasting your time because you're just painting over paint that's not sticking to something. That's like painting over paint that's not sticking to a car. It's just going to come right back out. But I want you to look at this. This is a totally different, totally different finish on this plane. Totally different. It doesn't have the shine like the old ones do. It looks like an FMS finish. Okay. Now I still see pitting and a little bit of little bit of gator in there in the in the foam. But pilots, I mean that's I was I had been so worried about trying to match that glossy green paint that they had been putting on. But I mean pilots, that's that's not too bad. I'm impressed. I really am. I mean, you can see that. I'm trying to get close in there where you can see the gatoring. 
and just just a little bit of pitting, but that's LX. I mean, that's that type of foam I use. My free wing SU-35 is the same way. Same way. And we got us a, a nav light. Don't have to worry about putting nav lights in. I don't have to worry about putting landing lights in. There's my landing light right there. There's a spot for my pedo tube. I guess that's what that little place is. Just look at that. Clevises and servos already installed. Now I see what Rich was talking about, about that flap. See how that flap push rod is bent like that? Now he had to put some carbon rods over his push rods, but pilots. I've seen thick push rods and I've seen thin push rods and these look like thick push rods to me. We'll have to check into that. We'll have to check into that because he did and say he had to put them to keep the flap from moving so much. Shoot, that flap's pinned down pretty good. That ain't moving too much there. They ain't got too much jig in that. And that is a thick rod. They might have changed all that about. And you got your wing hook up here. You stick it into the the hole, the base of the, on the other part of the center part of the wing. You put a screw down in it, and it's it's locked. You take the screw loose, it pull right out. You got your plugs all labeled, all labeled. Just look at that. Just look at that flap hinge. I mean, that's that's not bad at all, Paul. That's not bad at all. Because I noticed that this rod was much closer to on Rich's. So maybe they got this bent in another little more of an angle to hold that flap in. Yeah. Two. It's not actually carbon fiber rods, they aluminum. At least that's what was in the videos. We'll, we'll see what mine is. But this finish pilots, oh my god. I tell you, pilots, I know LX has got a Got a bad rap with everybody, except for the ones that buy them. That's all I got to say. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. I've got, this is my eight LX model. I've had one servo I had to replace on the MiG-29. Now, what, what, what is it? What is it, MiG-29? MiG-29? Yeah, yes, the MiG-29 because my aileron servo that operates the vector that exhaust was bad. No, no, no. The aileron servo was bad, and I replaced it with the aileron servo that operated the vector thrust, because I wasn't going to worry about that. And I've had maybe out of all those, well, let's say seven, because this is like I said, eight. Out of all those LX models I've got, I had to, I pulled the aileron hinges on one and had to re-glue the Wildcat and the Wildcat also has the little lock that locks the wing when you fold the wing back you gotta spin a little thing not a nut there and it locks it well that little nut is bent and I don't want to bend it back because it's made out of aluminum once aluminum gets bent and you try to bend it back it don't bend it just snaps so I would rather it be in a little bit of a bend and be able to tighten it up and loosen it still to be able to flip the wing back. But one of the two of the hinges was loose and the other, the LX model uh, F4, F4U had a couple hinges loose. But the jets, all the jets were, uh, except for that MiG-29 soldier who had one of the aileron servo. Yeah, that's tight. I mean, that's got that flat. They must have changed the thickness on them rods. Because that's not bad at all. 
This wing's just the same, same shape, same finish. Satin finish, not no gloss finish, it's satin finish. I like a satin finish. A gloss finish is for a sport plane. Somebody getting out there with their hands on and hands off. Hand on, wax off. Wax on, wax off. Not no war bird. <laughs> okay. Let's go with the guns. Oh my God, look at the size of that turret. And I'll pilot some. I'm going to show them to you in here a second while I'm thinking about it. I better not, I better not wait no longer. I'm going to show them to you. I've had these pilots, pilots, <laughs> for years. I'm talking more than three years waiting on this plane. They've, they've collected dust waiting on this plane. They've been through basic training. They've been through pilot training. They've been through all the training. And finally they're playing. Oh my goodness, look at that. They even move. They even move. Oh my God, individually move. And this locks into the top. You key it in and then make a like a 180 turn or actually a 90 degree turn. And it locks it in. See? Your receiver and everything's gonna be on that. But pilots, you just got to you got to look around in this plane. I've got a factory battery. This this, this plane calls for a flat battery. Very flat battery. It's a four cell fix two hundred. All right, now Kenny from Hangar 51 said that the bottom of the, the battery bay can be shaved out to put a different battery in it. But I think Rich had a zippy, I think, that was flat like that, that he needed it to be, if I ain't mistaken. We're gonna take a look at that. They, they put some decals in here for us, just a couple, because it, it, it should have all of them on there. Yep, this is our Apache Princess. You get two of them, one for each side. One for each side. Now she's pretty. She's pretty. But what I might do is a little trimming or something on her, and, you know. I'm, I'm not going with the Apache Princess. I'm going to paint over them tails. I don't like the... American Indian on the tail there, I don't like it. It's not that I don't like the artwork or nothing, it's just I don't, don't particularly agree. With that right now, I mean, they changed the name of the football team and everything because I thought it might have been. There's our stars and bars. Big ones. I'm going to go on the side. So you've got to glue your fuselage together right where these two decals go. And them are water slides. Those are not stickers. I hope they're good ones. Those ones I bought for that LX Model F-18 pilots. Well, I've, I've had a time with them decals. Okay, let me show you these right quick. I'm going to show you one of what I've got two of, okay? So, we looking right here at this guy. Now, this is a Dynam pilot. He, he, he comes in their smaller planes, I think. I think that's what he was in. Now, you know, the, the tail gunner and the ball turret, Gunners usually is you, you don't see but about half of them, you know, and, and if they do have pilots in there, they cut in half. Okay, these are FMS pilots. Okay, they're going to be my side belly or side gunners. Okay. Got two of them. All right, now here is flatline pilot. pilots. All right, two of them. It's going to have a bomber. Okay. He's gonna be in the nose, all right? And depending on what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna be cutting his shoulders off and putting another flat line pilot that looks like this, okay? 
and I'm gonna I'm gonna just take my blade and cut him off. Set, set this other one on there, and, and I got two two more of these. So I got and I got two of these. I'm gonna put them in the pilot seats, so they'll have a full body in there, and see if I can work with that. Now I've seen other B25s that that Brandon Moon and a couple of them have made just just. I mean, just outrageous cockpits, pilots, and, and, and bomb, bombardier. And the front nose just looked absolutely amazing. Just unbelievable. But I'm going to stick with regular pilots. I just try to kind of get it a little more detailed. I'm really not ordering them pilots from England or, or the UK, I think, is where they were getting them from. Somewhere out there. Somebody would be make, was making them. What the what material they was making them out of? But you could order them, and they had their hands placed in the right place to hold guns. They had their captain's uniforms all detailed. I mean, they wasn't painted, but you had to paint them. But they was all detailed out all the, all the buttons, all the horns. Now, pilots, I've heard that these. Uh, Props is, is very, be I mean, they're beautiful. Oh my God, you're talking about look like you're walking by one in the, at the airport with the detail on these, these props. But they just kind of, they're a little weak. they flimsy, and a flimsy pr prop pr uh, has flex in it too much maybe, and it just ain't getting a pull, I don't know. Take a look at them. They're beautiful. My goodness, at the detail of them. I, you know, I can't get over that. You can't get over that. I mean, come on now. Huh? Papa was right. Papa Boozer, the Mary Boozer channel, when they they unboxed theirs and had theirs out there. Now that's what I wanted to see right there, pilots. Why don't you look at that? If you can see the hex nut, okay. Okay, let me show you something. I've heard that pilots have been using. And of course, you know, I'm having trouble with my F7F. Okay. The F seven F prop. Okay, I've ordered see the hex. I've ordered you can go on the internet. I've I've ordered a bunch of ring burners from this this hobby paradise in, in Hong Kong. Just just Google them. And they had of uh, the hub outside screw here. And the actual base here, they had a deal where they sold you two of them, the two replacements instead of just one, like Horizon Hobby. So I ordered two of those, two sets, because I'm going and a set of props, because I'm going to put that other set on this, and I'm going to see if that will improve it. Okay, instead of motors and the SE. And another thing you can do is the ESC has a speed setting. You go in and you put low, high, or low, medium, and high. And Rich, the RC Informer, says that this plane was set on medium. And the one that he flew and tested and built is set on high. So we got that option. Okay. There we go. You know, boy, 
was made. Okay. Okay. Ooh. It ain't gonna do you what's next. The pilots are just I mean you watch you watch video on this plane and you, you look at the size of it compared to a man standing standing next to it or, or you know it, it's sitting next to a another plane there on the ground and you say, Yeah, that's a big plane. Oh my god, pilot, just take me to this is high of the fuselage. High. High of the fuselage. Right. It's in two pieces here. This bottom bomb bay, which it also has a work, working bomb drop bay. You can re you remove this. Oh, goodness. Just look at this thing. I mean, I'm holding a, a, a big single engine plane fuselage in my hand here. And this is just high for this one's, okay? Just high. I mean, I want you to look at this. And, I mean, we all know about this landing gear, but we're gonna check it out. We're gonna check it out. That's all there is to it. We're gonna check it out. My goodness. It's beautiful. It's just beautiful. We got mounts for more guns. On the side here. I'm gonna take it out of the bag. I'm gonna take it out of the bag. Oh my god. You just gotta be careful because that like I said that bomb bay is a separate piece. We don't want it falling out. Oh my goodness, Pops, don't you look here? Now on Rich Rich RC informer in the video he said he had to take a piece of sandpaper and sand all the paint away from glue. There he is. I told you, you gotta be careful. Gotta be careful. I want you to look here, Pop. They even got about half of it done on the insides of them. What the panels there? You got the glue. Look at there, Pops. Look at there. It's all gone. There's no sand in there. Oh, God. Talk amongst yourselves. Look at that satin finish. Look at that side gun window. And you got plenty of room in there, pilots. Plenty of room to put those pilots in. It's like another living quarters in there. And what you got to do to get in there is you got to cut that hole out bigger. And if you want to, you can glue it back in. But I don't really think you have to. But you make that hole right there. Okay. We're gonna check something else out here. I don't want it to fold in half and snap and break in half. So I'm gonna lay this thing down here on the plastic. And just ease my bomb bay out. Just ease it out. Now, like I said, the centers of it has been sandy, but they still paint on it. But like I said, Pops, that one there is clean as it can be on the bottom of that bomb bay. But this is just, I mean, this is just unreal of, a kind of, of, of the finish of this plane, Pops. This has got to be a new version, it's got to be. But there's the inside of a bomb bay. Now the, the uh, mechanical of it is in the fuselage of the center part of the wing. All oh, that'll be in there. Just look at that, just look at the detail of the inside of this plastic, plastic door. Not no foam door, plastic door. Big old ass hinge, hinges on that thing. Oh yeah, oh yeah. All right, I've got bombs that I put in my B-25 that are actually too big a scale to go in that bomb bay of that plane because that's that's actually the bombs that I took off of my, P, my e, e flight P-47. I might have them in the, in the bomb bay itself. Already, I bet, I bet I got them in that bomb bay. Oh, I don't see one. But anyway, let's see. It looks like it'll hold maybe one, two. I probably could put two there and one across this way here because you can't put anything right there in the center where the, the mechanism is. You got a light you got to put right here, the LED light. You got to do that before you glue that in. 
that's the first step of the instructions is to put that light in this and there's one on the top you gotta put in. Oh I'm 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 I'm, I'm complying. I feel complete. Okay, we still got another part here. Just look at that detail. Plenty of room in there for them pilots. I might have to, I might have to cut the legs off. But... All right, this thing has got maggots holding it on, and I mean it's holding it on. It does not want to let go. I'm sure it comes up though. Take some of the paint off the edge, but that, that is one thing that I see about it. Let me show you this real quick. Uh, RC Informer had a little deal where he had to cut around the edge of the canopy to get it to countersink into the fuselage a little bit. Now, what happened evidently is do it on that side too? Yep. Then there's some glue or something off where they glued that canopy in. It got on both sides like that and was glued to it. But anyway, like, like I said, you got to cut a little bit of a trench there. And he beveled his edge of his canopy there. So that it would just fit flush. Now one thing I didn't want to see. I thought that come apart right there. There you got it glued. It's glued in pretty good too. Cause that's pretty, that's pretty thick there. You can see, I mean, it's got some nice detail in there. And, I mean, you, you, you get in there with a paintbrush, then you have just have a ball. But I was thinking that this came apart, that you had to glue this together here. I'm gonna have to see if I can get that apart pilots without snapping it all up and breaking. Yep, yep. Okay. <clears throat> nice detailed bombing mission. Decals are on the side. Gun mounts. You want you want to have all this very clean so you get a good bite on that center wing section. He done all the sanding out through here, but I've got a method. I don't I don't like doing the sanding in these little corners and all. I just take me a ninety degree aisle and just poke small holes in pilots. Now out through here where it's easy to get to and easy to sand. Yeah, sure. I'll run a piece of thirty six across a little bit. Yep. Yep. There's where our light goes. A lot to go here. Now we've got some small pieces you got to glue on. Now what that is, that's where you mount an antenna, and then you got a little groove back in here where you mount shields. So you got your guns rotating and up and down shooting. Well, they put these two shields right here to keep the gun from shooting into the fuselage of the plane. They ricochet off them two shields there. I won't go into the plane. But pilots, I mean, that finish is just unreal. I just can't believe it. And look at the detail of this bomb bay. <clears throat> or bomber, bombardier. Just look at that. You put a big gun in it. You got areas where you can detail it up. He's painted it up. I mean, that's just unreal. Now this is a plug and play. So we've got a, 
like this like I told you all earlier, you get to have that flat battery in there. You pretty much gotta have a flat battery going there. And all I see up underneath it there is landing gear. But about a half an inch maybe of foam, thick foam between it and the landing gear. I still see that plastic drive brace instead of aluminum. I still see that made out of plastic. You see that down in the hole there. Ooh, ooh, not too much, not too much. You can look down in there. I don't know if you can see it down there. I knew it. I knew it. Let's see if I can turn this thing a little bit. See that rod right there? Running parallel with them servo leads? They should have made that out of aluminum pallets. Should have made that piece out of aluminum. But we'll get them, we'll get them down here in the future. Now, pilots, it might be a little while before I start getting on this one. I got a F-14 in pieces laying here in the floor. I know I'm not going to be worried about that F-7F for a while. It might be a while before I get the parts for that in. Oh, man, this is beautiful. We're going to go up here. Put a receiver as a nice nope that's not the flat spot nope that's the bottom of the bomb base so that's not a flat spot now i see a spot right there that i can put my gyro yep there's a the spot right there's the spot there's the spot This is going to be a blown one here, Pop. We got everything. Oh, we got some kind of fart bag here. We got, uh, got LEDs. Oh, oh, oh. Now, Rich, Rich, the RC informant couldn't figure out what these little things were. But as soon as I seen them, I knew exactly what they were. All right, we got two LED lights. You know, I was telling you where the spots where you got to put them LED lights. And they give you three bombs. Look at there. Now my, my bombs is about twice that size, but you can put these in there and maybe call them 500 pounders and call the three I put in there, or maybe two if I put these in there, 1,000 pounders, because they mixed them up like that, pilots. They might put two or 3,000 pounders in there and then put the rest 500 or, or senior, senior well, I can't say that. Insinuary bombs. <laughs> But there's another parts bag in there somewhere that's got the, the fins that you glue on to the bottom of the fins. Are, these are, this is styrofoam. The fins are made out of plastic. That's what that is. That's a bomb. Drop the bomb on me. You'd be looking at riding in the B-25. Got the hole for them gun bases out front. Now I've seen people that put their gun in here and then plus have another one sticking out there at the bottom. But that's what that hole right there is for, another gun. It's kind of thin, but I mean it's not thin as paper or less than paper. But once you get it glued on there, it, it, it that's what strengthens it up, is the glue it on. All right, pilots, here we go with him. Ample space, get rid of this. Oh, goodness. Okay, pilots, here we go. Yep, aluminum spars. Machine guns. 
big machine guns. I'm a big, big 50 caliber machine gun. Then you got the, the just the barrel of the machine gun in there that goes in the sides and in certain places. Got a nice list there of everything. Motor mounts. You got to you got to put your motors in. I, I think I think you you got to do all that. That might be that's a tube of glue there. Push rods, more plastic parts, bomb tail, pedo tube. in there for something that's got a label on it for what you gotta get it for. Okay. I'm hard to stay there. Alright, we got push rods. They sent us some push rods to put in there. Extra clevises. said it, it looked kind of thin between them screw holes that he made one that was completely square and just cut the holes out by using that as a pattern you got some long screws a lot of long screws a lot of medium screws I don't see no small screws I see a lot of medium and long screws aluminum aluminum spars you got four of them That means the rest of the wings has the rest of the spar in it that those are just interconnected. I see a lot of plastic parts in there. Pilots, there's a gun, there's an the antenna, or there's a radar, there's our tails for the bombs, there's the radar, pedo tube. Maybe 80 millimeters from the root of the wing, edge of the wing, front edge of the wing, back. It was Rich Informer's CG with his battery, but his battery could have weighed more, could weigh less. And he explained that this direction, this manual, explains things to you if it was in a kit version. It tells you how to put in everything, landing gear. Everything about the plane. Starts out with telling you how to put the landing gear in. So there's certain parts that you can skip over, but you just got to look and make sure that they done at the factory what they were supposed to do. And, I mean, it goes through. I mean, it's, this thing is, is a phone book, I tell you. I mean, ain't nothing about that. And it's all English. It ain't like part of it's Chinese and other parts French. Here we go. It says it says 90 if I'm not mistaken. Y'all can see that. wants to stay on the floor. I'll show you a machine gun. That should be machine gun. Check that 50 caliber out right there now. Let's see if it goes up now. Full size 50 caliber. That's pretty cool. That I 
work on cars and stuff at work, the parts will come in boxes and bags and stuff, and they'll have this bubble wrap in it. My boss man said, hey, Eric, here's some more of the bubble wrap for you. So I've been keeping all of it. So whenever I transport my plane, I mean, these, these sheets are like this big, you know. I transport my planes, I'll take this stuff here and just wrap it all around it, all around the plane in the back of the tires and everything. I take all the tape off of it. Right there. section of the tail. Bet you it's got a something that comes out of the rear section of the tail there. Yep, maybe that's what that's for. It'll have the servo to operate the elevator. But here we go, nice satin finish. Gotta get. I might have to to put a pilot in here. Sometimes you might have to cut a hole in the bottom go from the bottom instead of taking this off because this is this is plastic hard plastic it might take a bit to take that off nice hinges three three hinges across that elevator not just two three of them across that you got servos like i said i think that's going to operate the rudder because this has got horn mounts here so the servos might be in the fuselage on that but just look at that wrap up a servo lead that you've got to run up through there They some gluing, gluing to this one, pilots. You gotta do some gluing. <laughs> oh man, that's nice. That's nice. It's a nice satin finish. I want you to look at that finish. This is the top. Not that old shiny, flaky paint no more. section of the fuselage. Just look at this. Just look at this. There's your servos for the elevator right there. There's your servos for the elevators right there. You got a section right here that you can you, you pop off. Can't get to it now, but you gotta get this off and it screws where you screw put screws into the horizontal stabilizer center section. Just look where they clean the paint off. I mean, a little bit there on the side though. I just take me a little owl and go around it and put holes all in it. Go into it this way. Got the little hole section there. Got another, got another twine of leads there for them two servos here. It's got to go all the way through the center section of the fuselage, all the way to the front. I mean, it's just, it, it's just incredible. Not a mark on. Not a mark on. I'm running out of room to put the parts. <laughs> I 
I got, let's see, I think this is it. This is, there's the motors. Goodness. How come I couldn't put that motor in this thing? <laughs> oh, wait a minute, I see, I see my vertical tails down there. But this is the heart. Still tape somewhere. The heart of the plane. That alone right there is almost a yard long. Yep, yep. Them's improved ESCs. 60 amp ESCs instead of 40 amp. The most cheap, I mean, uh, not 40, but the most cheap 50 amps that they would put instead. These look like predators. No, wait a minute. I can't see it through them vents. Can't see what that says. It looks like a predator to me. All right, we got a lot of wires, a lot of wires. We got a lot of wires, but I see wire harnesses for the battery there, the battery wire harness to go to each ESC. We got the bomb bay servo there in the center. There's your bomb bay servo right there in the center. There's the top side of the wing there. Engine motor sails. Got ESC wire sticking out, leads. Got nice cooling for the ESCs, nice cool. Kind of reminds me of the same ones on the F7F. Goodness gracious, I can't do this thing. Let me flip around here. Now, they don't look like predators to me. Might be hobby wing, maybe. I think that's what they used to use was hobby wings. Uh, but we got a flap section here. Yeah, that's pretty tight. I mean, you can move it, you can flex that, but the way Rich's was, I mean, it was like all over the place. You got a little compartment here you take off, gets to your wires, and you hook all your wires. They tell you to glue that back in. Rich put magnets on his. Another guy flew his without anything on it and it flew off. Yeah, well, I don't know. What do you think? Nice landing gear inside here. Yep, this has got servo on. Cooling exit, a little air going through. Got control boards for landing gear, lights, and this this model also has brakes, pilots. It also has brakes. Rear mains have brakes on. engine sails is as big as that F7s are. Okay, let's look at our last thing here. We got our verticals, two of them. I'm gonna try to make this plane look like the Doolittle Raid. But it's kind of hard when they've already put the decals on it, the stars and bars, which the Doolittle Ray, Do Little Ray didn't have stars and bars. It had the old type star with a red dot in the center of it. Goodness. Nice, nice hinges. They glued in well. Looks like that decal's on 
straight anyway, but like I said, I'm gonna paint over that. I mean, it's, it's nice, but it's, it's not me. Hinge, hinge there on the top, and hinge there. Don't have one in the center here, just on the top and bottom. But just look at that. Just look at that. Thing. said that there was a screw that went through the tail right here into the horizontal, but I don't see the hole in here. Uh, that, that might be it right there that they, they you just can't see it because it's got the paint on top of it. But I'll poke, I'll poke it in from the other side and see. It's the same as the other one. Same as the other one. We'll see if there's any damage. See if there's any damage. No damage. No damage. No damage. I don't know how in the world they get them decals to form around them corners and stuff, pilots. They must put glue or something down on it first before they do theirs. Because I cannot get decals to stick around them corners. Look at the way it's stuck around them corners like that. Right in here's what I'm talking about. I mean, the decals ain't coming off even on the inside of that corner. Mm. Mine's flopping and flipping all over the place. I gotta take a hobby knife and trim that off, trim that off. <laughs> okay, Pops, there we go. There we go. We got the big boy in town. Got two motors there in them boxes right there. Very tight. Very tight. Love those new planes. <laughs> you, you, I'm not married or anything, but your wife probably coming through. You're cleaning this up. Six hundred KB. Hmm. Well, the camera won't focus. Six hundred KB. Thirty-seven forty-eight. Six hundred KB. You got a washer on it there. I see the hex on it. But I noticed that shaft is smaller than the one on the FMS. So you might have, I might have to put some uh, prop spacers in it. 
And that hub goes on there, went right on there. Didn't even turn the motor as I was turning it. We got our color coordinated ends. Got two of those, and I'm not sure that ain't damaged. I see a motor. I see a hub. <clears throat> you gotta check those things. <laughs> I see a washer on the motor. Check. Oh yeah. I'm gonna go with these pop. Didn't even turn the shaft. I mean, didn't even turn the motor when he spinning. That one went all the way to it. Didn't even spin the motor when. There is our LX model B25 bomb. I'm going to go ahead and say. So that's, a, that's a nice version too. I like the finish. We haven't got the landing gear out to check the new landing gear out or if I be, like I said, I can see that plastic rod. You never know. So we'll just have to check that out. But you'll be the first to know. Because you'll see it right here on the EQRC. I'm out.